Summer has just begun, but it's never too early to look at great deals to bring back to school, especially since Amazon Prime Day is kind of approaching right now. So here are some of my favorite tech that you might want to bring with you to your next school term. I'm Alex from Subnautics, and this is the ultimate mega back to school tech video. A simple and small Bluetooth mouse is really all many of us need to get work done on our laptops and iPads. A cool looking aesthetic design is just a bonus. This A-Jazz mouse has a transparent clear shell that gives users a peek into what goes on inside of a mouse. As a plug and play rechargeable mouse, A-Jazz connects to devices via Bluetooth 5.1 or a 2.4 gigahertz USB receiver. The coolest thing about the design is that the face shell is magnetically connected and can be pulled off to house the USB receiver inside the structure when not in use. It's a clever use of space and makes the hidden USB an additional design cue for the mouse. With a 400 milliamp hour battery that recharges using a USB-C slot at the very top, the mouse can connect to three devices at once. It's a work mouse, which only utilizes a left and a right button, a scroll wheel made of a metal sheet, and a homepage back button, and also a DPI key for four adjustable settings. It's 800, 1200, 1600, and 2400. I love how silent the clicks are, making this a great companion for getting work done in a library. The mouse is plastic and quite light, so it isn't the highest of quality, but this is a mouse that you're going to use as a beater mouse that you won't mind potentially losing or having it break down. I don't always bring keyboards with me when I leave the house, but when I do, the Satachi Slim X1 is the one that takes the spot in my bag. The reason for that is pretty simple. Just look at it. The slim part of the name isn't there for no reason. The Slim X1 is lightweight, it's built from a sleek sheet of aluminium, and it's easily packable into basically any small bag. With Mac OS as a layout and the ability to wirelessly connect to up to three devices, this is usually my all-in-one solution for working with my Mac Mini, my iPhone, and my iPad if I'm working out in the field. There's even backlighting for the 78 keys on the board. The battery life has been excellent for me so far. It charges through a USB-C port at the top of the frame, and ultimately this is one of the best feeling and best looking small Mac OS keyboards you can buy. It's not only a great travel companion, but I would even say it's a direct competitor to Apple's Magic Keyboard. It may be hot during the dog days of summer right now, but make no mistake about it, winter is coming sooner than you think. I can't really control the thermostat in my office building, so my room is always freezing cold. You might have maybe this problem in your dorm room. The Govee electric space heater is great for small rooms thanks to ceramic technology, which begins to rapidly heat 160 square foot space in only two seconds. With safety protection features like an auto kill switch for when it accidentally gets maybe tilted over or kicked over, or an overheat protection monitoring system, the Govee heater is a piece of home tech that's perfect for your college dorm room. You can control the hardware through a well-designed Govee app, and there's also uh, your favorite Google Assistant integration as well as the Amazon one, which I'm not going to say her name. The best part about this heater is that it's quite quiet and it's also lightweight. I personally think it has a clean appearance that fits into what a modern piece of technology should look like. Getting more power to your desk is more important today than it has ever been. We use so many different types of electronics to get work done now that having access to ports in front of you is vital to efficiency. Fortunately, there are a lot of clean ways to do this, like the Anchor 525 charging station. This seven port strip has a five foot cable that should be able to get to a wall outlet nearby. What the Anchor 525 then supplies you with is three additional wall outlets on the backside, two USB-C ports, and two additional USB-A ports. This thing can power seven devices simultaneously when plugged in. 
It's essentially an extension cord, a surge protector power strip, and the body of a round rectangular hub. I, I just love the look of this accessory as it matches with just about every type of desk setup you can design. For people looking for an on-desk power strip, this really is the modern way to go. And just because you're living in a dorm or an apartment room doesn't mean you have to leave your RGBs behind. These Govi neon rope lights are such a simple thing, yet they completely change the dynamic of an entire room. Unlike most RGB strips where you can see those exposed little bulbs, Govi already has an included glare-free diffuser laid over these RGBs. This gives the lights a refined look that you really can't get without putting some work in yourself if you do it yourself otherwise. The soft neon silicone material feels durable and doesn't get too warm at all, which is actually kind of important as these rope lights can actually, actually be inserted on the front side of the desk like I have here. In fact, I think it looks so much better wrapped around the front side of a table rather than the back end, and that's what these things are so cool about. You can put them in the front and look at it and it looks awesome. The Govi app is also simple to use and offers users plenty of different customization abilities to basically make the rope display and act however they want it to. I'm seriously impressed with how clean the neon rope lights are without it reaching crazy high dollar amounts. This is a premium product in the RGB space without that premium price tag. If you use an iPad, chances are you have it integrated with your Mac OS work as well. I wanted a way to have my iPad Pro float next to my monitor and the bong bing boo gave me the easiest way possible to do that. As a magnetic all metal stand for the iPad, it's pretty self-explanatory product that it, it does exactly what it's title says. I love how the aluminium base has absolutely no logos or lettering on it. It's just a clean piece of metal that fits perfectly with Apple aesthetics. The iPad mounts magnetically onto a flat surface that clips onto the back of the tablet. It curves and has a cutout to avoid the camera, but otherwise it covers a majority of the iPad. Once attached in that sweet spot, the iPad holds tightly onto the magnets. The display arm can be tilted and rotated to give the user a different kind of viewing experience that really covers just about every single angle possible. You can even adjust the tension of how smoothly you would want it to move. This might be a little unnecessary in the big scheme of things, but for those clean freaks who need a clean desk setup, the bong bing boo definitely adds some flair to your setup. Everybody needs to drink water. Everybody uses refillable water bottles to contain their liquids since more and more organizations and buildings have installed water stations. Here's a super slim flask-like water bottle that is as premium as you can get right now. The way I classify the memo bottle is that I envision if Apple sold water bottles, this is what we get. This 20 fluid ounce water bottle does not look big enough to hold 20 fluid ounces of liquids, yet... It does because of its kind of funky form factor. Instead of being round, the Pemmel Bottle Slim is flat. This allows it to be more compact and surprisingly easier to store away into otherwise tighter spaces in bags. This bottle really does slip into small spaces in a bag much more effectively than round traditional bottles. The big downside is that the Slim can't stand upright on its own due to the flat shape. The irony of that, right? Still, the trade-off of being able to transport this premium stainless steel memo bottle in just about any bag of any size might be worth laying it flat on a table. Traveling is part of the job description of a student. Whether it's visiting friends or going home for the break, a good reliable suitcase will be your best friend. The Mixi Hardside PC suitcase is one of those rare products that is surprisingly as good as it looks. Suitcases usually look bland and we don't really care much about its appearances as long as it gets our stuff from one spot to another. Still, I have to say, I caught myself kind of looking at my suitcase and admiring how clean it was until I started using it, made from a material that is apparently some sort of German-made soft steel, the Mixi is durable yet extremely compact and light. Like other hard shell suitcases, the inside is separated into two compartments that are held in by zipped mesh pockets and also zippered pockets. 
I love how smoothly the four double spinner wheels spin. I was able to get through terminal to terminal and maneuver traffic effortlessly. That's always less stressful when you have a good bag. You can kind of sneak by with between crowds. The retractable handle felt sturdy and the outer zippers are made of pretty good quality. And to continue our what if Apple made this trend, Mixie does offer this suitcase in really playful colors that reminded me of Apple, like green, pink, blue, and of course the whites and the blacks. Now, transferring files is a pain in the butt. You have to make sure you know what type of port something uses in order to plug that stick in. Then you have to think about transfer speeds and how long it'll take to finish, and then you gotta wait. This Charge SSD enclosure fixes all of those annoyances in an absolutely tiny body size. This is essentially a shell to house the size 2230M key M.2 NVMe SSD so that you can turn what was once not a USB drive into one. Functioning as a USB-C thumb drive, the best part about the Charge is that it's as good as you want it to be as you're the one choosing what SSD to install into it. It's as simple as placing the SSD in and a brand new SSD thumbstick is ready to go. There's a built-in cooling fan that rotates at 11,000 RPM to support the SSD performance. Factor that in with the aluminum alloy case and the silicone cover that covers it and the charge really has that SSD kept safe and sound. The coolest part about the setup is that included with the purchase is what looks like a lanyard loop. If you look closer, it's actually a USB-C cable that can be used as an extension for the disc. While you would need to supply your own SSD to make the charge desk work, so you do need to purchase another thing, I think this thing is a game changer thanks to this awesome form factor. Some folks need to have a dual monitor set up everywhere they go. I'm somewhat like that when I have to deal with anything timeline related, like video editing. That's where the Lenovo ThinkVision M14 has found a niche in my bag. This was the portable display monitor I relied on covering CES for the Subnautics. At a full HD 1920x1080p resolution, the M14 gives a wide canvas to work on as its 14 inch of solid IPS screen real estate. Out of all of the portable monitors I've reviewed over the years, I think I like what I see on the M14 the best. The colors seem quite accurate where I feel comfortable color editing without worrying about my charts being off. It's also sharp enough not to make my eyes weary on a long day's worth of work. My favorite feature that makes this display stand out is that it cleverly props up by itself. This monitor doesn't require an origami case or a kickstand to hold it up. What Lenovo engineered here is an extremely thin display with an equally thin hub area where all the ports resided. There are two USB-C ports that flank each side so that you can plug it into a laptop or a computer seated in any direction. The hinge rotates for it to lay flat, essentially doubling as a stand for the display in which you can then adjust the viewing angle. This is just an extremely lightweight and durable product that doesn't occupy additional space in my bag when traveling. It's a perfect companion to take to a classroom. Well, those are some of the tech that I really think would work great in a school environment. Let me know what you guys think of this video and what products you guys think works for you. I'm Alex from The Subnautics. Have a great year and I'll see you next time.